A very good evening each and all and what a great moment it has been. We are here at India Wells 2017, a great occasion where we see so many cardiac surgeons and medical experts present here. Time now for us to hear it from the guiding spirits of India Wells 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about Dr. A.B. Gopala Murugan and Dr. Praveen Chandra. A very good evening, gentlemen. What is India Wells? India Valves is an organization which is trying to bring this uh, new technology of treating heart valve diseases which was not being treated earlier because many patients could not undergo a valve surgery because either they were too weak, they were quite aged or maybe you know the body was not fit enough to undergo a surgery. But now by this new technology which we are discussing here which is known as TAVR which is transcatheter aortic valve replacement by this these sick patients who are weak they can now be treated and their life quality and quantity both can be improved by uh, doing this simple procedure which takes about just 45 minutes and the patients can go home in two to three days time without any cut without any you know stitch no operation nothing Dr. Gopala Burgan, we'd like to know from you uh, this new device, this new technique of transcatheter valve therapies. What is it about? As uh, Dr. Praveen Chandra uh, alluded to, it is basically changing heart valves without conventional open surgery. Uh, that is what transcatheter valve therapy is all about. So, con traditionally, uh, the uh, diseases such as aortic stenosis needed open heart surgery but now technology has developed over the last 10-15 years such that patients aortic valves can now be replaced without open heart surgery majority under local anesthesia and get them home in 3-4 days thereby restoring quality of life much sooner than what conventional surgical treatments can do this is not only just available for the uh, aortic valve but also previously uh, implanted uh, tissue valves, surgically implanted, they sometimes fail after 8 to 10 years. And uh, these patients used to have surgery, now that is not required. They can have this valve replaced again uh, with a simple procedure without opening the chest, without using cardiopulmonary bypass, and usually they're out in 3-4 days. So it's really quality of life that matters. Uh, it's not the surgical success and this is the treatment that achieves better quality of life in elderly patients than uh, surgical aortic valve replacement and that is what transcatheter valve therapies and that is what we're discussing here to uh, spread the therapy in India where it is still early and uh, people are adopting in a, uh, very gradually in a very controlled manner. Dr. Chandra, we'd like to know from you when was it started and why? Yeah, this technology came into India uh, about a few years back, uh, much later than what happened in the rest of the world. And it has been a very slow process because, you know, the, uh, the process of getting this device approved in India was rather slow. But now the devices have been approved. And the last two years now it is available for use in many hospitals. So we have done so far about 300 cases, but now every month, about 30 to 40 cases are being done uh, around in India. Yeah. So as we can see at India Wells 2017, so many medical practitioners and over, if I were to quote data, 550 specialists are here. What is, what is your take on that? I think it uh, just goes to reflect the interest specialists have in this country to spread this therapy to benefit patients. That is what it really reflects. And it also, uh, also reflects the content of this course and uh, conference that probably made uh, people uh, wanting to attend. There's been a lot of uh, uh, specialists here, not just cardiologists, also cardiac surgeons uh, have turned up in large numbers. Uh, it goes to show their interest also uh, in uh, spreading this therapy. Dr. Chandra, we'd like to know from you that we can see so many cardiac surgeons here. What is your take on that? So this shows that now this is a new concept of the heart team approach that both the cardiac surgeons and cardiologists are working together towards the benefit of patient where we decide which is the best treatment. 
It is not that if the patient goes to cardiac surgeon, he will do surgery, and if a patient goes to cardiologist, he will do that procedure. So they both come together, they talk to each other, discuss what is the best treatment for your patient. Sir, we'd like to know from you that healthcare ultimately caters to patients. How do you think India Valve is going to help Indian patients? Uh, India Valves was uh, originally started in uh, back in August 2016. The intention originally was to help patients. So it started off as a website, uh, www.indiavalves.in, and it was mainly a patient information portal to give patients the right information, honest information, so that they can make an informed decision. And that continues to be the case uh, by uh, patients uh, logging into websites. It gives uh, information on transcatheter valves, educates them on what this therapy is, who might benefit, what is the good, what is the bad, what is the uh, risks and complications, so that that helps them make an informed decision. I think we're in a state in this world where patients should also be involved in uh, the treatment uh, process otherwise it doesn't uh, turn out to be good outcomes because the patient is the one going through the treatment and I think they should uh, know what the treatment is about and uh, what the benefits they're likely to get. Sir, Dr. Gopala Murgan just mentioned about the website. What do you think, what kind of information does the website, India Valves website provides? Yeah, the website will be able to you know, cater to the needs of physicians, cater to the needs of patients and also people in general to know what kind of therapy is this, who are the patients who are going to get benefit and certainly uh, the other aspects, how much time does it take, what it actually means, so on and so forth. Also to add to that, the website also gives information to patients on uh, where is the nearest center where they could uh, get this information from, where they could meet a specialist, who are the specialists in India and the centers and plus there is a lot of information for uh, doctors, surgeons and cardiologists too and uh, the website will also serve as a portal for the National Transcatheter Valve Registry which is uh, the India's first registry for uh, this therapy where uh, therapy will be logged in, there is accountability and uh, data will be collected to know the outcomes. So after phenomenal response to India Valves 2017, what's in store for India Valves 2018? Yeah, so we are uh, now making a bigger group. More people are getting you know, interested and involved. So I'm sure 2018 uh, program will be uh, much uh, having more content, more people and more information. Very aptly said, uh, Dr. Chandra. So uh, with the interest that we have seen now, I think uh, it will only grow. Uh, we hope to uh, spread it out and uh, make it accessible to various people. So the location for India Valve 2008 is likely to change also, perhaps to geographically a different part of the country. And uh, we hope to see more people, more surgeons and uh, more patients benefited uh, eventually. Thank you. Thank you so much. So here we are at India Valves 2017 and as you saw and as you can see innovation that caters to real needs of Indian patients. So that's the message coming forward for India Valves 2018. Thank you.